Welcome to the Gazette's Business Spotlight on series, presented by True North Companies. Today's series focuses on community commitment. Hello, I am Michael Chevy Castronova. I'm the business editor at the Gazette. Welcome to the second group of interviews in our Spotlight on series. These are video interviews to acknowledge and celebrate accomplishments of businesses and organizations in the area in the past 12 months or so. Today's group focuses on community commitment. And here with us right now is Cedar Rapids Bank and Trust, James Klein. And we're gonna talk for just a bit about CRBT's really extensive community involvement. Hello, President Klein. Hello, good morning, it's nice to see you. It's good to see you, sir. Thanks for being with us today. So jumping right in, give us an extent, an executive summary, if you would, of some of the projects and programs CRBT has been involved in locally. Yeah, thank you. And, and I would start by saying one of the things we talk about at CRBT all the time is we are a community bank and we're based, we're local, we're here. And that word community is part of who we are. And so I, that drives a lot of our behavior. <clears throat> to your question, we've done a lot of things recently and over our 21 years now since we started the bank. Um, some key projects, Tanager Place is certainly near and dear to our heart. So we've been part of their uh, recent project out there. Just last Friday, we had some, uh, I guess about 20 of us, part of Foundation Two's Putting for Progress. Uh, fundraiser, which was great. Uh, last year, we gave a nice- Is, is, that, is that putting like in golf? Putt, putt, yeah, golf? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Emily and her team uh, set up putting things in downtown Cedar Rapids, where you go from business to business. And so it's a great way to raise money for Foundation too, but also support our downtown and get people out having fun. Cool. We partnered with Waypoint last year because housing is a real issue, especially after the derangement area. And so have partnered with Waypoint on that. Catherine McCauley Center, we have a great relationship with them long-term and helping them come up with financial literacy solutions uh, for the folks that they work with. And then also as they have Afghans and Ukrainians come to the area, how can we help them from a banking perspective? So those, those have been, been important things. And then um, our arts and entertainment area is certainly important to the uh, region. So TCR, we partner with them a lot for different events as well as Bruce Moore and United Way. I, I, I hate to name them because uh, sure. there's so many. Uh, in fact, it's, it's probably in 2021, it was over 300 area organizations that we Wow. That's... And, and it's a testament to our staff. The neat thing, Michael, um, a couple of years ago, we got an award from United Way and you know, because of the role that I'm in, I was able to go up and accept it. And I told everyone, when we have an opportunity to support the community, come up, we just put the word out within the bank. And before you know it, everybody's raising their hands. So it is really a core part of our culture. It has been since the bank started in 01 with the four guys that started the bank. And we continue to uh, invest in our community because it's the right thing to do. Now, I want to ask you about that culture in a moment, but... It says on your website, on the bank's website, annual total time reported in 2020 by CRBT employees was 4,655 hours. That's a lot of hours. Um, do you have 2021 numbers yet? And, and how, do you, how do bank employees manage those kinds of volunteer hours, especially during the pandemic? How did that work? Yeah. They have to show up, right? They right. have to show up and work. Uh, most times, but not all, uh, you know, our community has been resilient in so many ways. I do have, in 2021, it was 6,700 hours our employees gave back to our community through their time. And so it, it's a variety of things from teaching junior achievement, which, you know, went quasi-virtual uh, during right. the pandemic and right. Rachel and those types of things. Working in small groups uh, when appropriate during that time is also uh, helped us help these 300 plus organization and give 6,700 hours of volunteer work last year. Um, you know, we have so many of our bankers involved in these no nonprofits, whether it be on committees or boards. 
uh, and hopefully, and I know we do, we bring our financial background to help those organizations. So that's a huge part of it too. And when an organization has a capital campaign or a fundraising type of event, it's pretty rare not to see CRBT as part of the solution on that, which we feel really honored to play that role. So, so back to the, the, the culture component of that, how did CRBT push to be involved in the community actually get started? Was like a was there like a marketing meeting in a conference right. room and somebody said, hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't we all yeah. get involved in the community? I mean, how did that, and I'm being silly, of course, but I mean, how did that come to be? Yeah, well, it, I mean, not exactly that, but not far off. Um, back in 2001, the four, the four guys that started the bank um, hired 17 employees, and that was the start of CRBT. And at that time, people did really get in a room, and we came up with our mission, our vision, and our values. And one that read really loud and clear was, we, we want to and we need to take care of our community because businesses and banks will only be as good as their community, right? Right. So doing the right thing as, and then one of my friends, Tony Bedard, as he says, doing good is good business. And so it, it, it's one of those things. And there's so many cliches, you know, you get back more than you give, but, but it is really true. Helping our community is great from so many different angles. Um, and so it really has been core, Michael, since the beginning. And really it was the employees that embraced it. And that's true today with our, you know, 200 employees. It's, it's employee driven. It's not management saying you have to do this, this, and this. It's them saying, hey, can we help here? Can we do this? Can we do that? And then clearly as management, we support that with flexible scheduling or financial dollars, ideas, and that type of stuff. And that's, that's Tony Bedard of, of Frontier Co-op. Correct. Yeah, another good company, another deeply Wonderful. involved company. Yeah. Yes. So what do you think, James? Why is this important? And how do you measure the success of all these hours and all this time? How do you measure the, I don't want to say ROI, but how do you figure that? Yeah, you know, with with any type of item like this, it's, it, it's not a dollars and cents things per se, but we, we measure it by you know, A, how is our community doing in some key stats? And, and we can get that usually through our partner, United Way, which is a great thing. Um, just hearing our employees, because, you know, again, doing good is good business. Our employees are so proud to play a role in helping our community. And so that drives our engagement and culture within the bank. Um, yeah. And then, you know, when something happens like the derecho and we're one of the calls that the local government or nonprofits call to sit at the table. It's pretty clear that we've, we've, we've grown up with this community over the last 21 years and made a big impact. And we want to be part of the solution going forward as well. Right. They think of CRBT to call. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and we don't take that lightly. I mean, we are a community bank and, and it's part of who we are. Uh, All right. Last question. Our, Last question. So, you know, and this is because this is a business forum, uh, you know, we've all read in terms of hiring or retention that community involvement for some occupations is really important in higher employee recruitment and retention. Have you found that to be true? And how do you enforce that? Reinforce, sorry, is what I meant to say. Reinforce that. 100% true. I just spoke, okay. our, our employees <laughs> have great pride in working for an organization and our organization has great pride in our employees um, both ways for getting involved and doing what they can whether it's big or small to help the community move forward i mean yes it, it is certainly something we talk about a lot our employees on their annual surveys uh, they give comments all the time about how proud they are to work at an organization that supports our community like we do okay uh, thank you, James, for your time well, today. I know you're a busy you. guy. Thanks to our sponsor, True North Companies. And thanks to you watching on the Gazette website. Watch the rest of this series. We have a business panel, June 21. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. For access to all of the Gazette Spotlight business series, visit thegazette.com slash spotlight.